I often get asked, is it possible to remove the vocals from a fully mixed down audio file? So let's take a listen to an example. So here we could hear guitar, drums, bass, and vocals. So if we wanted to remove the vocals from this recording, we could use a tool called Spectral Layers. And when you have Cubase Artist, Cubase Pro, or Nuendo, you get a version free with your license called Spectral Layers 1. There's also an advanced, more advanced version such as Spectral Layers Elements and Pro, which are sold separately. To access Spectral Layers, we need to do this through an ARA2 extension. So I'm going to select the track, we'll go to our extensions menu and launch Spectral Layers. When we do this, we can see that the view changes of our audio waveform. And what we're seeing is more of a frequency-based response. So at the bottom, we see the low frequencies. We can see the high frequencies and the mid-range frequencies here. So instead of looking at it as a traditional audio waveform, we see kind of a frequency spectrum. So I'm going to go to layers and we'll, we're going to choose in spectral layers one to unmix vocals. We'll hit OK. If you have more advanced versions of spectral layers, again sold separately, such as Elements or Pro, you're able to remove more elements. Like in a Pro version, we could remove not only vocals, we could remove drums, bass, piano, and other instruments. But again, with this Spectral Layers 1, it comes with Cubase Artist, Pro, and Nuendo, we could unmix the vocals. So as we do this, what it's going to do is just a analysis of the, of the audio recording, and it will break the vocals into a separate layer that we'll see uh, paste it directly here. So we could take these different layers to combine the different elements. If we were to make an analogy, we could almost say this is like having a perfectly baked cake and being able to take out the eggs. Or if you have spectral layers, elements or pro to be able to take the eggs, the sugar, and the flour after the cake has been created. So once it's going to go through this particular analysis, um, We'll see it pop up here. And Spectral Layers also can work as a standalone program or in conjunction with Cubase, Nuendo, or other DAWs via ARA2 extensions. So we see we're just about done. It's doing a tremendous amount of calculations to make this happen. And we're just at about 90%. And this is kind of a full length pop song, so about four minutes. All right, so we can see that we're gonna have two different layers. So we'll have kind of our vocals layer and we can see these represented as different colors and as well as our piano, drum, bass, and other. So we'll play it. Only time will tell us. And if I wanted to solo the vocals. Or if we wanted to mute the vocals now if we wanted to remix this and set different levels what we could do now is just drag from this layer here from spectral layers and drag it into our project window and at this point when we go to listen to it we can now So if I wanted this to be louder or softer in the mix, so you can get a mix and the vocals aren't loud enough or they're too loud, we can remix. So you can see that using the kind of intelligence of spectral layers, we could take a fully mixed track and be able to isolate different elements. And with every copy of Cubase Artist Pro or Nuendo, the spectral layers one, we could remove the vocals and be able to alter them, set different levels, and have a tremendous amount of control. Again, taking the eggs out of the cake. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.